Hey guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. I'm actually filming this intro after the day is already over because I forgot to film a little intro. So, hey there, hi there, how are ya? Um, today I'm gonna go into Washington, D.C. and I'm gonna take you along with me to a really fantastic museum. And then, um, yeah, there you go, so let's go. Ta-da! So I figured out a way to not oversleep uh, or over nap and that is to schedule a shuttle. Um, unless the, the hotel shuttle is being used by a crew, I have uh, scheduled to be dropped off at the train station um, using the 10 o'clock shuttle. So it's 10 minutes of right now. Um, there is a breakfast here, but it's not worth waking up for, honestly. Um, so I decided just to try, to try to nap as much as I could. I got mm, almost in two hours, almost two hours of a nap. So I feel a little refreshed. If I had slept any longer, I don't think I would have slept later on tonight. So I'm quite content with my little nap. Um, I wanted to show you this little jacket I got. <clears throat> it, it looks a little lumpy because I have my... I have stuff in my pockets, but I got this little olive. It's a nice deep, deep olive on camera. It looks a little bit more gray, but it's a really deep, rich olive, uh, heavy uh, wool pea coat. I got this at Savers. Do you know what Savers is? Savers is like, honestly, it's like Goodwill. Um, it was $9. Don't ask me why, why I was inspired to go in there. I'd never been in a Savers before. I used to be fancy. Like, people who worked at Neiman Marcus didn't go into Savers. But I walked in, and I'm walking around going, oh, this is so gross. And then I saw the fabric here, and I went, oh, what's that? I picked it up. Brand new. Tags were still on it from 2009. I think it's from 2009, from what I was able to glean from the information on the tag. But... Blah, blah, blah. Let me get out of here and go downstairs for the shuttle. I'll see you later. It's 1026. I'm still waiting for the shuttle. I'm debating whether or not to get an Uber to the train station, but it's like $17. So I don't know. I might wait like five more minutes. And then after that, I'm just going to go. Oh, as I speak, the shuttle pulls up. Hey guys, all right, so the shuttle was a half hour late, uh, but it's free, so I really can't complain that much. Uh, I do tip the driver, I tip $2 uh, for them to take me here. It's cheaper than $17 for an Uber, so there you go. Um, I got my ticket a few minutes ago. The next train isn't for another half hour. There isn't a Sella, but it was twice the price, like 30 bucks, I think, round trip, where it was $16 round trip on their mark mark system m-a-r-c i think uh so i got my mark ticket um i'll wait a half hour to save that money uh i came across the way and there's this kind of cool little walkway here it's like a a wooden bridge through the through the forest the train station's over there Bink. and uh, i am gonna walk that away for a few minutes and see what i find it's really pretty out here, actually. You can't see, but there there are tiny birds swarming the trees over here. Very, very pretty. And this little creek is charming. I'm gonna walk that way. All right, I found the end of this weird little path. There's two little entrances. So this must be just a regular kind of commuter path to the train station into DC. It's a cool path though. It took me about, I don't know, eight minutes to walk. Looks like Saturday is the day to take the train. Because every time I'm here, this train is packed, but it's also a weekday, so. Lucky me. I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing the inside of Union Station, but I never tire of walking through here. It is so grand, and the tree is so pretty. It's all covered in flags. How pretty is that? Hey guys, all right, so I just stepped out of Union Station a few minutes ago, and now I'm heading towards the America Museum of Art. They were closed last time I was here, so I went to the National Gallery instead, which was wonderful. Uh, but I'm looking forward to going to this museum. Uh, and I think next time I'm here for a long museum, I want to think ahead 
Uh, and I want to go to the Holocaust Museum. I think that would be very interesting uh, next time. But uh, today, it's art. Somehow, in any town I visit in the country, I end up in Chinatown. Well, I found the museum. And just in time, because I have to use a little boy's room. Why do I always feel the need to tell you when I have to go to the bathroom? Sorry. <laughs> Oversharing. I'm in the uh, National Portrait Gallery. This is uh, John C. Calhoun. Doesn't he look like he should be playing Doctor Who? <laughs> it's a portrait of Walt Whitman. and That's exactly what I thought he would look like. There's Samuel Clemens, or better known as Mark Twain. And of course we have Benjamin Franklin. Thank you very much. Look at that. Oh. Look at this water feature, huh? Very subtle. There's squares that run along the whole length of this. Reminds me of the reflecting pools in front of the Capitol building. What's interesting about this courtyard here is that it's not just a place to eat or to pass through, but there's a sense of community I can see here. There's like a whole table of ladies uh, knitting or crocheting, and then there's guys playing chess, and there's someone on a laptop. It's like, a, this is like a sense that this is part of the local community, not just a big fancy Smithsonian Museum. I think that's kind of neat. I'll admit, I've always heard of Grandma Moses as an artist. I don't think I've ever actually seen a piece of her work. This is called Grandma Moses Goes to the Big City. <laughs> Gosh, that's amazing. Look at the... Of course, you're looking at the flowers and then the pattern of the wallpaper behind. And look at how the, they captured the crystal here. It's almost dimensional. And then look right up there, a little, fun little butterfly. Isn't that amazing? Look at this piece. This is a micro mosaic. Those are all tiny, tiny little pieces of glass. I think this is my favorite piece in this whole museum. I love that. And these pieces, just for comparison, these little pieces here are from the 6th century. Interesting, huh? Look at that. Look at these two pieces. They're from the 1st century ancient Rome and they're here not because they're American art but I guess to show how global conversations and global influences um, affected art here but look at that can you imagine first century crazy I'm in the gift shop here can you imagine a thousand piece Jackson Pollock jigsaw puzzle You'd have to put me in a psych ward after that. There's a tote bag in the, the gift shop that I really want. Because of the message, I don't like the tote bag itself. It's not really a good tote bag, but it just says feminist across the front. And I'm like, I want that tote bag. But it was an ugly tote bag. I love the message, but not the bag. And here is a portrait of one of my favorite women in the world, Dorothy Parker. 
I did not know that she actually wrote the original version of A Star Is Born in 1937. Who knew? Look at this little guy. He's got like little bat wings, little lizard. Look at the little mushrooms. And he's holding a beetle. <laughs> and this is supposed to be Puck. Oh, look. Look at the seashell helmet here. I love this. And look at this. It's titled Boy with a Broken Tambourine. Now, this is carved out of marble. Now, look at the tambourine. It is like, can you imagine? Look, that's carved out of marble. Can you imagine the skill? and the, the patience, look at that, crazy. Oh my goodness, now look at this, look at this. Now if you look at the bottom, reproof, look. See the cat killed a little bird, it's a little nest down there with an egg. Look at the cat, the cat's like, oh man, biting her sleeve. And she's like, listen you naughty little girl, and look at the lace, look at the lace on the dress and the flowers. I, that's just fascinating to me, all that detail carved in marble. Look, the little hind paws are scratching at her dress. That's fascinating. There is no way to do this whole museum in one day. I mean, I'm gonna have to come back here a couple times. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I want to spend the afternoon right there. Look at this. Just look at that. I, I just can't even believe this is out of stone. It's crazy. Look at her fingers up at top, the top. Wonderful. Look how the artist here has the, the the wallpaper, the flowers here. I mean, she's just luminous in how they captured the sleeve of that translucent lace. I mean, I can hardly sign my name the same way twice in a row. All right, this isn't a piece of artwork. It's just a door in the museum, but I really like it. I love this little sculpture. Is anyone old enough to remember the song? I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. No? Clearly, I'm not a singer, but how wonderful is this? Look at the spirit. Look at this. This is titled Idle Hours. Just look at the richness of the details. Look at her robe. And the two of them are just gazing down at these little turtles that are just about out of frame. Isn't that fascinating, the amount of detail here? Look, there's like a Christmas market. How cool is that? Let's go in. Put my mask on. There's a lot of people here. Oh, this is a line for churros. <laughs> Look at that. No, thank you. Oh. Well, that Christmas market was kind of a bust. Not very interesting. Lots of people, but not very interesting stuff. Um, then I thought, well, I'll just walk over to the Jefferson Monument because I've never been there before. And now it just started sprinkling and it feels like it's going to rain. So I'm going to head back to the hotel. I'm starving. Uh, I did have a piece of pumpkin bread and a latte earlier, but I'm starving. I refuse to spend money though on my layover for food because I have a boatload. I have a whole lunch bag full of food. So. I'm heading back to the hotel to eat, and I'll catch up with you there. Look at these little squirrels. That one over there got himself an apple. 
<laughs> Look at him. It's like I just got to Union Station in time to get a train back to uh, BWI. So, yay, good timing, because I'm hungry. Oh, I just got off the train uh, from DC. For some reason, the train ride seemed like twice as long as it did going out there, but it's probably because I'm really tired. Um, I'm getting an Uber back to the hotel because uh, waiting for the shuttle has taken me 40 minutes or longer in the past, and I'm unwilling to wait. Uh, an Uber is $16, $16 and change, and uh, I found, in my cleaning of my my house, I found a an Uber gift card that was sent to me probably last year. So, ta-da, I'm using that to get back to the hotel. Uh, and it's still kind of sprinkling and unpleasant. So it's a good thing I'm going back to the hotel. I am wiped out. Somehow I only managed to walk 12,000 steps today. It felt like I walked further than that, but 12,000 steps is better than no steps, right? All right, I will see you back at the hotel and I'll wrap all this up. Hey guys, hi. So I just made it back to my hotel room a few minutes ago. I filmed a quick intro for this video because I totally forgot to film it this morning. Uh, but uh, boy, I had a really, really, really great day today. I feel like I was gone for like 10 hours, but it's like 4.40 in the afternoon right now. So I got plenty of time to sit, relax, eat, maybe play a video game or watch some HGTV or something, and then get a good solid night's sleep. My van tomorrow is at 7.30 in the morning, so I've got all night to enjoy here in my hotel room. Um, I had a wonderful day, and I, I wanted to thank you for joining me. I haven't mentioned it this year, but in past Vlogmases, I've recognized this maybe later on in the month, is that I love Vlogmas, and I love doing Vlogmas because it forces me, even on my regular, everyday, boring life, it forces me to kind of open my eyes and be more awake, be more aware of my world and uh, to look around, look for interesting or look things or look for any, you know anything that's positive. And um, I don't always do that in my everyday life. So when I'm filming for Vlogmas or for any of my regular videos, it forces me to look up because you know the miracles, as they say, are not on the ground. So I'm encouraged to look up and around my world. And so Vlogmas is a wonderful exercise every day for a month to look around the world for the positive or the interesting or the opportunities to change, you know? So uh, thank you for joining me today on this wonderful Vlogmas day and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night, fly safe.